We'll see if people come in. If you are here, please tell me if you can hear me. We're just going to have dead silence for everything. God, hello, hello, baseball is best. Hello, I'm Otter. How you guys doing? Can you hear me? Is is my microphone working? Is the first thing, because I've not not done this in a while. Have not done this in a while. This would be good to know. All right, you can hear me. That is good. That is very good to know. Appreciate that. I'll load up the game here in a second, and then hopefully everybody can hear the game and uh, we'll play. How are you doing, Amater? I'm doing well, buddy. How are you? How you doing? Baseball is best. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I am sorry. Is this your first time being positive? I know. I feel like that's a weird question to ask, but. Is this your uh, your first time having to go through it? Have you gotten your shots and everything? As well as this, I know that little bitch Kevin Durant is is gonna stay after wanting out. I get you know. Good luck with that. Good luck with him. Run back a, a team that won zero playoff games last year. Cool. The Thunder won the same amount of playoff games as the Nets last year. Baseball's best. Hope you know that. Hope you know that. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm being mean. I, nah, I don't like Kevin Durant. I like watching him as a player, but he's still a little bitch. I do think the Nets have a good team, and I'll probably talk myself into like picking them this year to do well because they have, they have talent, and then it'll completely blow up uh, in my face as it as it does. First official positive test, week off from work. We'll be back in the office Sunday. Gotcha. Well, again, rest up, man. Uh, hopefully the symptoms aren't aren't too bad. And just take it easy. Uh, we've had we've had a bunch of tests. Uh, the the fiance's tested positive a couple times, and going through that, I've not had it, but I've felt like I've been on death's door a, a couple times with the the way I've felt, and that we thought were COVID, but it was negative test. I just felt awful, but it ended up being a negative test, which was great. I just didn't feel great. Um, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully you get some rest. Hopefully it passes, and you, you come out on the other side better. And just feeling feeling back to normal, man. set up as I completely forgot how to do all of this. Don't follow Joel on Twitter. I gotta ch I gotta change that stream elements. No one needs to follow Joel. Okay? Don't do that. 
I did enjoy Raw last night. It dragged a little. I don't know if I was the only one who thought that. I don't think the, the previous weeks have dragged quite as much as last night did. Um, but overall, I enjoyed it. How about how about you guys? What did you think of Raw? And what did you think of uh, what's been going on in the, the Papa Paul regime? I was going to the bathroom when Johnny Gargano came out. Like, I was mid P. And the fiance is just like, baby, Gargano. And so I had to had to stop midstream to come out and watch Johnny Gargano. There's a story for everybody. But overall, I thought it was good. I, I've enjoyed the shows. It's It feels fresh. There's a lot of wrestling, which is good. Yeah, the shows feel fresh. They feel different. I haven't been watching the same matches for, you know, 20 weeks in a row which is always good um yeah at three hours just it's always going to be difficult right like it's just that's an that's the the nature of the beast honestly like it is just always going to be difficult so not much they can do about that yeah you just gotta you gotta find ways just gotta find ways jr what's up buddy how are you? How are you? I'm attempting to use Twitch again. We will we'll see how it goes. How have you been, JR? How is the heir to my throne? That's good, I'm honored. It's a good time to get back into it. Hey, everybody. All right, let me grab my controller here. Again, just hope this works. Uh, everything is good in wrestling right now, which is kind of weird to say. I won't say everything. I mean, let's be honest. Like, the NWA is not a great product. Uh, I don't know if MLW still exists. Um, but the, the top two promotions are doing well. Uh, the, you know, New Japan's in a, in a good spot, getting everybody back. Crowds can make some noise again. They're partnering with Stardom more. You know, they're owned by the same company, but doing more stuff with the Stardom partnership. So that's good. The Indies are doing well. Some some good independent talent out there. So for the most part, it's in a healthy state. It's a good time to get back into wrestling. Glad, glad the, the kiddo is doing well, JR. We're doing well. The, um we are doing we're doing well everybody's away today and once the kids got back in school i wanted to try to get on twitch more because i know during the summer i completely neglected it just difficult to to get on here with a bunch of kids running amok so i wanted to try to do this more and here we are they've been in school less than a week and here i am now the fiance is home I'm going to try to make her get a run in. You're going to hear the door go off here in a second. Uh, as far as the punk stuff, I, I have a hard time separating like what's a work and what's a shoot. And I could see some of this being a shoot that is just turned into a work. I think that's sort of where it's going. I don't think he was right in what he did. I don't. Uh, like Hangman had. There was nothing Hangman was going to be able to do in this situation. Oh, this game works. Uh, let me know if it's too loud. I can turn the volume down on on the game, and then uh, so people can still hear me. Or if you don't want to hear me and you just want to hear the game more, I can totally do that too. Now I just blanked myself out. However you, however you guys would like to do it. I just don't know if it's going to be too loud. Um, I I don't think it was right what he did because, yeah, he put Hangman in a no-win situation, and what was Hangman supposed to do there? I thought it was kind of a, just a bitch move on the part of CM Punk. And 
But if he's angling to just work with Hangman again, which would seem weird, and that worked. I'm looking forward. I'm going to be at Dynamite tomorrow night. And I'm definitely looking forward to Punk and Moxley tomorrow. Okay, let me know if the game audio is too loud so I know. Nostalgia. I don't know if you mean like this Twitch stream or this, uh, uh, the, the Twitch stream or, okay, okay, I'm sure this still works. or this game, both, both are nostalgic right now. Yeah. I don't think it's a, like a full on work. Like I think what he did was a complete shoot, but I think they might try to turn it into a work sort of like the MJF stuff. I think that was a full on shoot with, MJF's unhappiness and everything like that and then now I think it's a work and I wouldn't be shocked to see MJF back tomorrow which would, which would be something like I figured check me. I appreciate uh, you you stopping by and chatting chatting about with us I figured we so if you are on follow Fightful you know that we have we've had this twitch for a while and now we just stream like post shows and stuff on like we stream the shows on which is fine like that that's what we typically do on uh, on the twitch just to make sure like it's still it's still up and running um but it was originally intended to play video games and i got away from playing video games because personal life uh and now i would like to start playing video games Greg, what's up? Yes, I'll be there on Thursday. Looking forward to it as well. I don't know what to expect. Jarrett Bailey's there. Uh, and I don't know about that. I don't know if I'm going to do a show with Jarrett Bailey. And my boycott. Um, I kind of do think MJF is going to, to resub or resubscribe. Uh, thanks for resubscribing, JR. Thanks for subscribing for 13 months. Uh, I kind of do think MJF comes out to close the show tomorrow, which would be kind of wild. All right. I'm gonna play a game and then I do want to do a season mode. The fiance is in the chat. She's also in. Everyone can just see me like try to stare out into the hallway. Hi! Alright, single match. I don't remember how to play this game at all. No manager. Yep, one on one. Ah, man, it's been fun ever since I've played this. Okay. We'll go with Austin. Guy. Against, uh... Let's maybe beat up Rogue Dog. <laughs> he might actually beat up me, which would be great. Let's see if we remember how to play this. The answer is no, but we're gonna try anyway. Yes, I want to decide. Need to get back to playing video games, particularly on a Friday. I think everybody should play video games. It's very, look at these graphics, this intro. I remember this was the shit when it first came out though. This absolutely ruled. What games are you trying to play, Almada? What are you trying to? What do you, you play in, in your free time if you got the free time? I think if you've always played video games and you enjoy playing video games, it's good for your mental health to continue to find time to play video games. And that's something that I've gotten away from and I'd like to pick up a little bit. Oh, okay, okay there we go. I'd like to pick back up a little bit. I 
tried playing some PlayStation over the weekend. I actually did play like some PlayStation 5 over the weekend. I actually did play some. I played the Madden and then it crashed on me and I'll never play Madden again. I'm waiting for 2K to come out. And once it does, I will uh, I'll play that. And I'm gonna start streaming on Switch again to, to get some games in. I have found some good free time or some good like mental health video game time. So just play on the computer. Um, it's a hockey simulator. I really like playing franchise hockey manager. So I'll play that in the middle of like four days and breaks and stuff to so, you know, just try to get my video game fixed. In. But nothing quite close to the concept. How do I well okay. There's that. Okay, that's fucking long. There's run. the shit out of me, It's hilarious that this man just got Jeff Jarrett. Just replaces him for a second time. We think Jeff Jarrett is the guy who just doesn't go away, but he's broken. Maybe it's broken. Is it in reverse? Oh, okay. Steve Austin with a dive to the outside. I didn't see that coming. One. Just fall flat on the face. Why the? Why is Triple A? Oh no, he's he's pretend he's coming out. Yeah, Road Dog's an idiot, as we've learned. There we go, there's a Pez Press. Triple H coming out here to save Road Dog from AEW. Give me a shot back. Oh, come on. Why don't you burst? This isn't fair. I like that you get that like mid animation doesn't matter, it's just gonna finish off the animation until you push the first off of that. Stop pulling me to the outside, you little dick. Are there reversals in this game? Fiery Minds would like to know. Okay. Triple H can fuck off. One. One. Two. Okay, that's how you switch target focus. Okay, there are reverses. How he did it, but he did do it. Reverse that. I have reversed. Oh, no, come on now. Road dog's got to Why? Kick out. Let's kick out. Come on, get up. I love that animation. Just come on. Now he's reversing everything. Throw. Just toss him into nothing. Roll break. How do I do it? Finish. Somebody please tell me how to do a finisher and how to do a reverse. Those are the two things I need help with. See, like right there, I feel like I gotta get this done. Do I need two of them to do a finisher? No, nope, clearly not, because he just hit me with one. One, two, three. Well, 
that suck. Uh, yes. I'm at it, yes. Uh, Kai. Well, not technically. Until we get married. Until we, we get married. Okay, the, the fiance is telling me the game is loud with the voiceover. So I'm gonna turn the game down. Okay. Um, options. Turn the difficult down. Is there no? Hopefully, it's a little bit better. If not, we can also turn down the speakers here. Alright, hopefully that's a little bit better. I can turn my mic up as well. Clearly, I've not messed with these settings in forever. And everything just kind of got reverted back to normal. Or to, to default and whatever that entails but there we go hopefully that's a little bit better where the game is okay thanks guys okay. appreciate that thank you loves for letting me know that the game was much louder than my voice which i wasn't saying much other than fuck triple h and fuck road dog in the game i mean they're they're well sort of fine people outside of this game road dog has opinions i don't agree with uh, okay, let me, um, no, I'm not playing the water sort game on this stream. Nobody wants to see that. Absolutely nobody. No, I was not Road Dog Kai. No, absolutely not. I was not Road Dog. I got my ass kicked by Road Dog. Don't put that on me that I was Road Dog. Uh, all right, I gotta learn, I gotta learn how to do finishers and reversals I don't know how to do any of this stuff okay finishers L1 that's good to know okay and reversals are L the L2 ones all right that's helpful one more no I was not the winner a winner is not me all right one more exhibition match and then hopefully so strike reversals L2, grapple reversals R2. Okay. Got one more exhibition match. And hopefully I don't lose this time. Let's go with the rock this time. Against uh this this guy. Oops. I did want to give him at least, you know, maximum finishers. Alright, there we go. Oh, that's Here Comes the Pain controllers. I don't want Here Comes the Pain. I imagine they're relatively the same, but... The finisher's still O1. Oh, because counter reversals are... Uh, square. All right. The buttons are very, very simple in this, as you would expect. All right. Yes, I'm sure. One more match, and then we're going to do a little bit of season mode as now getting a little bit more familiar with things. Still looking at buttons so I can remember how to play or not suck so bad. And terrible start so far. Okay. There we go. Cannot 
reverse anything. Alright, I don't want to talk. Come on, go. reversing doesn't work there's there's no actual no one no one can tell me that the reversal button works it's a lie absolute lie that this reversal button does what it's supposed to do oh Maybe I actually reverse something there. Oh, come on. How do you get a two count like that? Ugh. Oh, people's elbow. Let's go. I remember being like, just shocked and impressed and just marking out when the elbow pad came off in this game. Oh, I just KO'd his ass with that. Hell yeah, the rock rules. Yeah, I popped so hard when his elbow pad came off in this game. I was like, this is the greatest game of all time. You're never topping this as a wrestling game. What, the elbow pad actually coming off for the people's elbow. That's why I got KO'd. Drop that shit right on his throat. That's that's the finish. All right, let's do a season mode. You can wrestle through a season. That's what we're gonna do. Whatever that entails, I don't know, but this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna wrestle through a season. The preseason mode starts. What is preseason? <laughs> do, do we need to do preseason? Oh, the Adam Cole knee pad coming down and fight forever. That'd be dope, honestly. Okay, let's do preseason. A new preseason. Here we go. We gotta get the reps in first. I gotta use a created superstar? For this? Oh, I haven't created anybody. Do I have to use created superstar for a season? Oh no, I can wait. No, I want everybody to be there. Why is Triple H in that color? Like, why is like, are they champions? I guess they're champions. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I want everybody to be there. Okay. Um, I would like to be. Hmm. Who should I pick, Chat? I'm leaning towards Ken Shamrock. Really leaning towards Ken Shamrock. Or Shane McMahon. Fuck it. Let's go Shane. Alright. We, we've picked Shane McMahon. <laughs> I've selected the player. We're the man who's going to come back. Mark Henry's a good shout. He is. Mark Henry's a good shout. I'm, I'm going Shane because it's a fun, stupid pop with Shane, right? I don't want to select the Trent Smith, so we got, we're good. Shane O'Mac coming back to say this shit doesn't work for me, brother. And I'm going over everybody. House show. I mean, live event. We're at the live event. 
Where are we at on the official WWE rankings? No, well, we're not doing too well here. What the hell? We got the same amount of points as Paul Bear. All right, time to work our way up the rankings. Do we have a match? I don't have to like watch this, do I? Oh, okay. I don't care about this match. It is it is two people who are not Shade McMahon. Oh, I'm gonna get yelled at for skipping the brood theme. I'm sorry. I I don't care about this match. Quit. Exit. Yes. I would simulate this shit. We we only want to watch Shane McMahon. Who cares to watch these other dorks? Oh, there we go. Skip. I should probably read. Steve Blackman won. 7%. Yeah, audience didn't give a shit about that. Another match that I can skip. 8.1%. The audience is not... They want Shane McMahon. Mr. Ass would have been a good pick. Scissor all of our opponents. It's Al Snow. 6.8. They're, they're losing them. They want Shane. Jeff the Hardys against Edge and Christian. AEW main event coming soon. 8.6. No one cares about these matches. Am I main eventing? Despite being last on the rankings? The big show. Just like in beating Boss Man, Rock, and Jericho. Look at Triple H in the European title match. He's the world champion, and he's in the European title match. <laughs> sure. Sure. He wants all these belts for himself. Oh, bless this guy. Look at He won it, too. <laughs> uh, Triple H says, give me all your fucking titles. That's it? We don't even get a match. This is bullshit. All right. All right, we gotta be on Raw, right? Are we just never gonna have a match? All right, Mankind beat Kane. China beat the Godfather. An anywhere match. They can just wrestle anywhere in the world. We have no idea where this match is actually taking place. It could literally be anywhere. He should beat him in AEW too, honestly. That should main event tomorrow night. Fuck Moxley and Punk. Billy Gunn against Chris Jericho is the real main event. Hardy against Edge and Christian again. Could possibly care about the, all these dorks. Another anywhere match. Crowd's chanting, we want Shane. We want Shane. Shane O'Mac. Shane O'Mac. The world, the entire World Wrestling Federation is on the line in this match. Who will be the new owner of the World Wrestling Federation? No, Triple H is still the owner. Once once again, Shane McMahon is, is being blackballed from the organization. Here we go. Are we in this? Yeah. We're in the King of the Ring, baby. We're in the King of the Ring. Time to time to earn our spot up the rankings. Time to become the King of the Ring, the best in the world. Shane McMahon, not Mr. S. Although he does rule. Look at this man's ass. He's just sh showing it off. He loves to love him, kick him, shove him, stick him, pick him, dick him. Loves asses. Gotta respect it. Doesn't have haircut. Look at this. He does. It just wrestles in his fucking suit. Just no regard for for his opponent here, for, for the actual business. He just knows he's going to come out here and just beat the shit out of everybody. So he's like, eh, wrestling gear? No. I'm going to wrestle in my 
in my corporate suit here. These arenas are good. Man, this is a pretty dope arena. Look at this. Uh, Mr. Ass ain't got nothing on Shay. Stay down, bitch. Stay down. Stay down. Yeah, Road Dog uses that move. Get the fuck out of here. That's a Shane McMahon special, the flying elbow. Go over the top. Yeah, look at this. Lucha Shane out here, baby. Like, he even flips people off, which... Oh, no, that didn't work. Oh, what? Come on. I was hitting him with an axe hammer. Oh, he hit me with a jack. Look at no-sold that shit. Shane McMahon ain't fucking selling for Billy Gunn. Are you kidding me? Ah. That's a, that's a cool move when it misses because he just flies into nothing. We're gonna no sell this jackhammer again. Nope. Shane takes way too long. Look at that, a good sell by Billy Gunn. Just inside out. A Rikishi sell in the clothesline. Oh. oh, here comes Triple H trying to hold down Shane McMahon as he's done all throughout his career. Didn't want the the heir to the throne to take the take the company from him, which is what would have happened if Vince had any business sense and let Shane beat up Brock Lesnar at the Rumble. But we all know how that went. Tap out. Slow it down, brother. Ah, oh. <laughs> they run into the brick Billy Gun wall. Yeah, Bronco Buster. I have no idea what Shane's finish is. Can I see? Like, oh, you're not gonna tell me. Like what his finisher is there anything it's the elbow drop i don't know I, got, I don't know if he's gonna be down long enough to where i can hit this move quit kicking me in the face oh vince is here let's go well i mean you know for game purposes let's go vince put him down Oh, Vince with the stunner. There we go. The stunner right to the elbow. Oh, uh, well. Didn't quite have the range on it. That's bullshit. Shane McMahon is way more range than that. How do I pin? Not like that. Not like that. Down? There we go. That's the finish. One, two, three. Told you. Flying elbow. The back flying elbow. Come on, Cyclops is better than Logan. Vince always went to the top rope. We're the new Intercontinental Champion because we just beat the Intercontinental Champion. So, by property rights, Shane McMahon, new Intercontinental Champion. Kane and Xbox. Oh shit, we gotta face Kane next. Okay, that's fine. Can Shamrock beat The Rock? As he should. Boss Man beat Debra. Alright, Kane. We gotta beat up this political asshole. We have no respect for Kane. 
and his views on things. And we're going to beat him up in a video game because of it. Was Kane still wearing this gear in 99, whenever this game came out? I feel like he upgraded a little bit by now, but maybe I'm wrong. Ah, not doing so well. Bad start. Just elbowed me in the back of the head. Top rope with the double axe handle smash. Shades of the great Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh, that big boot was shit. No soul. Kicking me in the face. What is this bullshit ass pen? Fuck off. Idiot just ran right into it. Work the leg. You gotta chop down the big man. That's what they always say, right? Look at this legwork. Great psychology by Shane McMahon. All to set up the top rope elbow. Now we're going to work the arm a little. Just master of psychology in the ring, Shane McMahon. Oh, come on. Schoolboy. Oh, Vince is here. Come on, Vince. Off the top. Get him. Get him, Vince. Vince. I mean, I know you guys are politically the same, but you gotta, like, attack him a little bit. Oh, thanks. A real help there, Vince. At least against uh, Mr. Ash, you gave him a stunner. Oh, this isn't gonna end well. Everybody gets their finisher quicker than Shane. I've been dominating this match. Kick him in the face. Shane's finish sucks because it's the top rope move. Kick out. Ah. Oh no. Uh, it's probably going to do it. I don't know if I'm going to kick out. Usually, like, one finish in this game ends it. No. <sighs> yeah, so this is just when Shane decided, hey, I'm going to wrestle in... wrestle in business casual for these wrestling matches. Uh, Sam, what's up? I did not beat Kane, unfortunately. Shane McMahon, just, he takes too long to get his finish in this game. And it makes it difficult. Oh, good for Ken Shamrock winning it. Do you want to change the participants? No. I would like to be booked. Quit holding down Shane McMahon. The crowd does not care about these matches. They want Shane. I should be given an Intercontinental title shot. I beat the Intercontinental Champion in the tournament. a future WWE Hall of Famer and Edge. I 
They're not saying much, but their mouths are moving. I bet that was a riveting conversation about hockey. Why, why am I not in this match? I beat the champion. I find this. To be, look, he's still the champion. I should have been in that. Once again, just absolutely holding down Shane McMahon. Am I booked on SummerSlam? There we go. Battle Royale. Alright, I, I kind of like really have to win this match because they ain't booking me at all. We got this. Shane O'Mac coming to coming to dominate, coming to win this battle royale. Definitely don't care about Rogue Dog. Test kind of ruled. Unfortunately, he fell victim to Triple H and that whole ordeal. But man, he ruled. These other guys kind of. I feel like this is going to be very difficult to score pinfall. Maybe I'm misremembering these matches, but I feel like these matches were like super tough to win. Yeah, I took them both out. Took them all out right there. Work the arm of the road dog. just decides to hit nobody as it typically does oh the touch doesn't look like he fell the lady just tripped off the top row Showing how a true high flyer does it. I'm just gonna sit up here till like somebody gets kinda close. There it is, look at that. Look at double team move on almost. Going back to the arm. Look at, look at the psychology once again. By Shane McMahon, we know we've targeted the arm of Road Dog, so we will continue to target that. Everybody coming after Shane because they know he's the best in this match. Scared of him. Pushed me into the ropes. A Bret Hart bump right there. Shane McMahon and Bret Hart, honestly, just two of the best wrestlers of their generation. Quite possibly the two best wrestlers of their generation. Not sure who else you can like put on that level. Oops, one person. Ah, on. Let's go, boy.
allowed to do nothing off the top. Not even close to a finish. I know I haven't been that much out of this match. Is that it? Oh, it's just elimination. All right. Road dog tap? No. Okay, that's fine. Actually, no. You know what? I need him to stay around. I need road dog to waste his finisher here. Cause I'm not gonna get mine. These guys are gonna get two before I get one. A strategy whether or not it pays off we will see everyone has heard heard my strategy I'm trying to just get wrote get these guys are gonna get two finishers before I get a single one very angry that I penned him. Oh. Foley has decided that my strategy is good, and he will not allow me to secure the victory here. is finish. Oh, KO'd him. There we go. Look at the strategy. It paid off, everybody. The master. Yeah, flip. Shane McMahon says, fuck all y'all. The master strategist, Shane O'Mac, in the building. Cannot deny my great strategy in that match. his asshole one. He's like the Undertaker's ready for tonight's event. Good good for him. Why why is he walking and then looking at the camera like that? 13.8% so far the match of the night. And it'll be the match of the night. 
because it had Shane McMahon. Look at that. This Intercontinental title match doesn't matter. No one gave a fuck because they just watched the great Shane McMahon in action. This match, no one cared. European title match with Triple H, who's gonna, I guess he's already the European champion. No one cared. No one cares about these Triple H matches. Stone Cold and The Rock with Vince McMahon as the ref for control of the WWE. When did Austin beat Triple H for that title? I thought Triple H was the champion. Eh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Match of the night. Right there. Shane O'Mac, baby. And yet, for some reason, they won't push him. They will not push Shane McMahon. Because they are afraid of the power of Shane McMahon. They're afraid of what will happen if Shane is in control. It'll only be good stuff. Take this company to new heights. Edge and Gangrel probably see this match on AEW Dark next year. Edge wins, good for him. Al Snow and Hardcore Holly probably see this match on GCW Dark next year. Jeff Hardy and Christian probably see this match headline in AEW pay per view next year. Tori, China, and Deborah will not see this match. Big Show, Kane, and The Rock. Probably see this match in a Twitter argument sometime next year. Fucking Kane. Here we go. Cage match. You're going to see this match in the World Wrestling Federation. This is going to headline the next Saudi show. Shane McMahon against Road Dog inside the cage. It's 100% going to headline the next Saudi show. No chance. Sadly, they do not have the great, uh, they do not have the great Here Comes the Money song. You asked me to call somebody. I remember being very impressed when he had, like, the mic and it looked like he was actually, like, doing this intro. And he, like, kind of kept talking into the mic, but not talking. It was sad when he didn't do the, oh, it's me, it's me. Winner teams with Tyrus. All right, rough start again. Look at that one move, and he just he has just so much more. Oh come on! I mistimed that. I thought he was at the end of his combo. It's four punches and not three. Do I have to climb the cage to win? <sighs> Work the arm. Once again, great psychology from our SummerSlam match. We know the arm is still hurting him. Oh, come on. Get out of here with that. Apparently we do still have to climb the cage. I feel like you just like do that. No, oh, no pinfalls, all right, good to know.
legs so he can't climb as well. Just working over all the body parts here. Daniel Bryan learned everything he knows from Shane McMahon. This idiot keeps climbing way before it's ready. Ah, boy. Get up. Did do the Bronco Buster? I was right into a pen, which is unfortunate because he just like no souls it at that point. Uh, how do I climb? Well, that didn't work. Oh, what happened there? Get up. I don't, I don't like my chances in this match, honestly. High impact offense of Shane McMahon is a uh... okay. Keep hitting the wrong button. That's my opening. The DDT. Tapping up is apparently how you can get some some uh, cage climbing going. Should I just like let him climb a little bit? Oh no, okay, that cage is much shorter than I thought it was. Oh man, that could have been disastrous. Come on. <sighs> ah. Get up. Get up. Why won't he stay down for anything? Oh, 
Oh, come on. Arm breaker is what's gonna beat me because for some reason that's just like completely taking me out. I have like no offense that takes him out that same way. He keeps going to it, he knows it. Put him to sleep. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Shane O'Mac cannot be stopped. Why are you watching NWA Power, guy? Okay. That that seems awful. Seems absolutely awful. 9.5. Once again, carried it. Best match on the show so far. No, oh, best match of the show, period. That was the main event, as it should have been. House show. Skip that. Skip that. An anywhere match. Let's fight on a ship. I'm just running the Shane McMahon Road Dog program into the ground, aren't we? Man, Road Dog got his job. Bless the man. He got his job. Man waited patiently till his friend was in power. Got his job back. Oops. That was the wrong way. <laughs> Forgot what you can do do with all this stuff. Can I? How do I use this stuff? Clearly he remembers. Look at that, over the shopping cart. I'm just gonna pen him. How do I use the shopping cart? Well, that's gonna be a taunt. something keeps going to the shopping cart Which is fine. I just keep flying over it. It's a cool looking spot. How do I use it? Ah, there we go. Ah ha ha. Look at this. This is how I shop at Walmart. Just fucking ram into people. People get out of the way. Got shit to get. Got time to. Ah, damn.
Road Dog ain't doing too well on this one. Get it. Get the shopping cart again. This is not going to go well. Run him over while he's on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. The hell fell out. Oh, my head. It's head in a barrel. Head in a box. Beating Road Dog's head with head. Beating his dick with head. Road Dog getting head. That's how Road Dog got his job back. to the top so I can hit my sweet looking elbow. I can't use the forklift. Oh no. Oh no. I could. I could. Run. Run. Over the cart. Let's finish. Not finish. Yeah, beat him with the head. Finish a scoop slam. Sold his knee on a scoop slam. That, that, sure. I'm not even like, trying to pretend to sell him this stuff. climb up to. I don't feel like that's very fair. I can't use my top rope finisher in this environment. This game is against Shane McMahon. There we go. Got him. Oh, Lisa, how are you? Oh, Kai, he's back. He got hired yesterday. He's got Jeff Jarrett's old job. Jeff Jarrett. 
Jeff Jarrett's old job, man. Lenny Leonard stepping away from wrestling. That's a shame. Let's get that story in here in a second. All right. 10.2%. Probably, once again, match of the night, I would assume. Everybody else is trash compared to the great Shane McMahon. Look at this. Undertaker and Stone Cold have an anywhere match. It gets 9%. Shane McMahon has one. 10.2%. I'm saying. Survivor Series. I'm going to try to close out the year. Close out the year. And then call it a day. The Big Show. Facing the big show. Glad you're doing well, Lisa. Well, it's the big show. Big show, poor. Ah, not poor big show. He's, he seems to be doing well. He's got a job and everything. That's all that matters. Uh, seems to be happy enough. Man has been teasing this Captain Insano thing in AEW for like two years now. And I realize it's not been with the company for two years. I don't think. And I just don't know if it's going to happen. <laughs> this poor guy. He's trying. He's trying to get this Captain Insano thing. And I, I hope it happens. I uh, love the Waterboy. Great film. But I just... I don't know if it's going to happen, Paul. He's very big. Look how giant this man is in this game. One, two, there's no way you can win by count out because I don't think there's enough like selling three, to try to win by count out. Four, five, All that damage on the outside, and yet he's still way ahead of me when it comes to the finish. Uh. Oh, come on. I got caught on the way up. <sighs> Not going well. Not going well, folks. The big Show is using his big old powers to dominate me for the most part. Look at this. I'm barely halfway to my finisher. And this is basically got hits. Why is this? Oh, that was pretty sweet. A mid-air collision. Oh, Cook, Vince. Hit him with a stunner, please. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, you suck. That's you're about useless. Oh boy. Not going well. Oh no. Whoa! Big Show's in great shape in this game. Look at him. Shane's just tossing him around like he's nothing, but he's in great shape. Shane's got the strength of about 15 Bobby Lashley's, though, so it's no surprise that he's just tossing around the Big Show like he's nothing. Well, that's probably the match. If we see Captain Insano tomorrow, pop so much. Kick out, kick out, kick out. Oh, oh yeah, Shane McMahon ain't going out like no bitch. But he's almost got another finisher though. I can't do anything to him. No selling everything. Fuck that move. Ah! Oh boy. That was good. I 
And that back elbow is about the only thing that's working. The arm, brother. There you go. Put him in the Roman Reigns special there. Schoolboy. Oh shit! <laughs> I did not expect that to get him. My God, that rolled. Big Show should be hired by Christian. That would actually make a lot of sense. I like that. I think this should happen. Hey man, Schoolboy is the most devastating move. Which, which, oh, that's both of them. It's like, which Hardy is this? I don't know. Probably about, what would the Hardy boys talk about? in 1999 he's like hey man i'm gonna start a band and he's like hey man i'm gonna read some comics riveting conversation from the hardy boys i'm sure i quit match yeah, triple h ain't fucking quitting come on now blackman and shamrock uh-oh another cutscene. Big Boss Man is ready for tonight's main event. He's going to take somebody down to the Cobb County, Georgia. Who's the Big Boss Man facing? Road Dog. Hope he kicks the shit out of Road Dog. Well, he didn't. 12% for Austin and Undertaker for the world title. What did Shane McMahon get? 13.1 for his match against the Big Show. Consistently, the best match on the show every single every single show and yet i can't get my title shot i don't get it i do not get it folks where am i ranked how's road dog ranked higher than me i've beaten him like three times big shows ranked higher i, I got a win over him too 11th we're getting there we got 39 points what's this point system i i don't I've not seen how these how these points are calculated, but I feel like I'm getting screwed. But we're getting there, everybody. We are getting there. All right, last match. Close out December 2000. Assuming we're booked. Hardcore match, sure. Yeah, Edge doesn't do hardcore matches. He's a little bitch. Bradshaw probably stiffed the shit out of Bubba Ray. Oh shit, Triple H! We got a European title match, everybody! Alright, here we go. Cage match. Oh man, I'm gonna get destroyed in this one. I'm they're not gonna let me beat Triple H. This is rigged. This is a thousand percent fixed. We already know it. This man just booked himself to win the European title. At the, the very first show we did. Look at his stupid face. He didn't have the title with him. He's not in great shape. No abs. There's nothing. Shane McMahon doesn't want to embarrass everybody. That's why he wears the suit. Because if he took that suit off and you saw what he was packing underneath that suit, it'd be over. They'd bring back the, the bodybuilding federation. Shane would win that too. I don't, I don't know how this is going to go, but we're going to win this. And we're going to prove why we should have control of this entire company. Look at this. Also, a great start. Beating the shit out of Triple H. Oh, that was a mistake. He's going to hit me with like two moves and have his finisher. Oh, 
the school boy, the deadly school boy does not work in this match, unfortunately. Uh oh. And this damn near just cost me right off the minute in. Keeps using the same move. I don't feel like that should be fair. Stop getting the skull boy. He didn't do anything. This is dumb knee again. Keep going. Oh, no. Try to go back to the Roman Reigns special. Didn't work. Look at this, I feel like I've been whooping his ass this entire match, and yet... I'm still ways away from the finisher compared to him. That's what the greats gotta do though, they just gotta overcome. Oof. Can you steal finishers in this game? I don't remember. Spam the double axe handle. Isn't that the finisher? I didn't hit the finish though. Go! Oh, ah! Come on! Ah. Dummy. And I see the fact that it's going to be a pinfall. Get up! Get up! Get up! Ah! What got announced? Uh oh. Ah! 
Figured that wasn't gonna go my way because Triple H just books himself to win everything. A sad way to end the stream. With a, a loss, very sad. What can you do, right? What can you do? All right, we're not gonna do the rumble. I don't even know if I'm in the rumble, but we're not gonna do it. Next time, we'll do the rumble. Yes, it's saved, right? Like there, there's no thing to say save. So I'm just hoping it saves. Season, continue. Okay, it's there. All right, everybody. Hey, we're back. We're back on the Twitch. You know, hopefully not the last time we're on Twitch in the next month. All right, everyone. Let's see, who can we raid? Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for hanging out. We'll be back at some point. I don't know. Go to Fightful Overbooked. Go to Fightful. Shout out to Denise Alcedo and Will Washington who are doing shows now every single day because they do a bunch of shows. Bless them. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye.